Welcome to School AI Introduction to Assistance. In order to get to Assistance, you will land on the launch pad after you log in. And you can go to Assistance at the navigation menu up here on top. The very last item you see here, Assistance. On the launch pad itself, you will also notice there's a little section highlighting some of the assistance available to you. Co-teacher, Common Core Expert, and Curriculum Coach. Clicking on See All Assistance will do the same thing as if you click on Assistance up here on top. I'm going to go ahead and click on Assistance. These are basically chatbots that have been created by School AI that focus on particular topics for you, the teacher. Can you ask the same kinds of questions in ChatGPT? Sure, but you're going to need to know how to prompt. Um, in this case, you don't need to know how to prompt at all. You simply ask a question. So let's say you are a small school teacher, a third grade teacher, um, and you are the only third grade teacher. So there isn't another teacher to communicate with, to talk to, to learn more about um, a particular topic, or just to get some ideas on, say, third grade math. Well, you can use the assistant and go over to co-teacher, or you can even go over here to Common Core Expert. So if I go here to Common Core Expert and click chat, it's going to open up and say, hi, I'm an expert on teaching with Common Core Standards. How can I help? And I can say, I am a new third grade teacher and want to know where I should start with teaching mathematics. And I can say I'm a new California third grade teacher. Boom, send message. This will narrow it down even further, reminding and letting the Common Core expert know I am a third grade teacher in California. All right, so it says start with California Common Core State Standards for Math. Focus on the key domains for third grade. Operations and algebraic thinking, number and operations in base 10, number and operations fractions, measurement and data and geometry. And now, of course, a third grade math or third grade teacher who's going to be teaching math obviously would jump over there first, but you could use this to help you out as well. Use these standards um, to guide. Would you like more details on any specific domain? And you can say, yes. So I'm going to start with operations and algebraic thinking. Can you help me break this down into teachable topics? And it's immediately going to break that down for you. Key topics, understanding multiplication and division, properties and operations, multiplication division within 100, solving problems involving the four operations, and understanding patterns. Would you like examples or resources for any specific topic? And I can go in here again and say, yeah, let's start with understanding multiplication and division. What do you think would be the best way to approach this with third graders? And it's going to help me again further. Approach understanding with the following strategies, concrete examples, real world contexts, visual models, interactive activities. I love the idea of interactive activities. Can you list six of them I could use as strategies? for understanding multiplication and division for my third graders. Array building, skip counting, multiplication war, card game, group sorting challenges, story problem creation. Ooh, story problem creation. Let's delve into that one. Here's how to implement it. Discussing, demonstrating, encouraging, have their students write, pair students together for peer sharing, discuss solutions as a class, and so forth. And so 
this is a great tool to help you. Even if you know most of this, you know that you can find materials in print to help you. You know you can turn to the standards. This just is a great reminder. It's a great way of brainstorming to give you ideas of ways you can do that. And you can keep delving further. You can say, okay, this whole model story problem you know, tell me more, give me more examples, and it'll keep doing that for you. And this is just one tool available for you. Um, I can do the same thing in CoTeacher. Give me some examples of good word problems for teaching multiplication and division to third graders. And here we are, equal groups, arrays, repeated addition, um, sharing equally, grouping, division with examples. Then from here, I could do copy and paste, bring them into a Google Doc, rewrite them a little bit if I want, um, and then go through you know whatever I need to do to help. Um, I could draw and add in images. I could use an image creator um, to add in stuff for me as well in a Google Doc. But another example, of an assistant and how it can help you. Now, AI and education, coach. I have some third graders that I am teaching multiplication and division to. How could I use AI to help out? Okay. Personalized learning, interactive games, immediate feedback spaces by school AI. So AI tools that can adapt to each student's pace, offering tailored practice problems and quizzes, educational games that are powered by AI, AI platforms providing instant feedback on student performance using spaces. So from here, I could go, okay, cool. How about I go dig into some of the spaces and see if they'll help me out. Um, let's see what else. If you're going to do a field trip, you can use that to help coordinate project-based activities, research assistance, and even essay grading, where you can copy and paste in what they said and have it help you do some grading on that. As you can see, there are a number of different assistants available for you on a number of different topics. Simply visit assistance, click on chat, jump in there, and let it know a little bit about you, what you're trying to teach, what you want ideas on, and let it help you out. All right, if you have any questions on using assistance in School AI, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to help try to figure out the best way to ask the questions or best tool in here to help you um, with teaching your class. All right, thanks.